Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to this evening's debate. It's a uh, great pleasure to see so many people here this evening. It's probably about three times bigger uh, than any previous Intelligence Square debate um, and in a very sort of appropriate setting, Methodist Central Hall uh, for tonight's subject. Um, I'd like to thank very much our distinguished panel of speakers and also our moderator this evening, Joan Bakewell, uh, for kindly agreeing to participate. Um, and also a uh, thank you to the Times uh, newspaper, our media sponsor. Um, our next uh, event, there's a free event um, that is taking place tomorrow night. It's not an uh, Intelligence Squared style event, it's a question time, uh, which we're doing um, in conjunction with the National Trust um, on never mind the ice caps. And, uh, and that is a free event which is going to take place at the Royal Geographical Society uh, with David Miliband, Rosie Boycott, uh, Professor Philip Stott. Um, after that, we have two more. Uh, our next debate is Prison Works with Lord Wolfe, and after that, um, Democracy Isn't for Everyone. Um, you've probably seen, we've um, uh, previewed the autumn season, um, which is going to, uh, and tickets will be um, available on sale probably the end of April. Uh, first debate is um, Britain Has Failed Zimbabwe, so we're rather hoping nothing happens to change, the, uh, change that motion. Um, anyway, all it does is to leave me to um, thank you all for coming and to pass over to Joan Bakewell. Thank you. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's a tribute to the power of ideas and to the distinguished panel that we have today that tonight's motion has attracted so many people to come to hear the motion that we'd be better off without religion. It will be conducted like the formal debates of the Oxford and Cambridge unions, with the three speakers on either side whom we will hear. We will then have the result of the pre-vote in which you've already cast um, your judgment, and then we will have questions and answers before a re-vote on the motion. Fine. So let me call upon the person who is to propose this motion. We would be better off without religion. Christopher Hitchens, author, journalist, critic, a writer over here, a figure in the cultural life of this country before he moved to Washington, where he wrote for Vanity Fair, and the nation he started off on the left wing, moved very right, and has recently been defending the neocons, and um, his latest book, uh, which is absolutely germane to this subject, is be published in the coming months, and is called God is Not Great, Christopher Hitchens. Mm -hmm. 